Hey everybody, it is Margaret and I am here with an amazing jewelry haul. I went to some garage sales this morning and just hit the jackpot at one. Uh, so one of the garage sales, I'll show you the first stuff first. I've got two things that were not jewelry related and so I'll quickly show you those. And um, one is Laurel Birch. I always pick it up if it's in good shape. This is a Laurel Birch purse, which I originally I thought was brand new uh, and looks hardly used, but the woman said her kids told her she couldn't carry it anymore. So I paid $3 for this, but Laurel Birch also makes jewelry and other things as well. So be on the lookout because there are some people that um, collect Laurel Birch. Yeah, it's a clean on the inside and everything. I just realized I didn't check. What if there's like money inside? You know, that happens. So I picked that up uh, for three bucks. And then uh, this is more for me. I picked up some scrap material for a dollar, but look, it had some cute kittens. You've got to be kitten me. <laughs> There's a lot of other really cute, like constellation fabric and stuff in there. Um, so that'll probably be for me. We'll see what else is in there. Um, hello, Alistair. Hi, Nancy White. I am live, so if you're watching this later and you're interested in coming when I create a live video, hit that subscribe button, and then there's a little bell next to it. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I go live or when I put up a new video, I think, as well. Okay, so I'm going to do this in the format where... It, did you? If you saw the one where I was switching cameras instead of holding everything up, um, so you'll be able to see it on the table. So I'll switch back and forth. Um, hi, Diane, Diane Nini. Hi, Tiki Tucky. <laughs> hi, Mildred. Hello. Yes. Okay. So I hit this garage sale, and it was a little before eight o'clock, and it were it was these little little old British ladies reminding me of my granny, and. They were raising money for a British charity that they were all a part of. And so basically, it was all of this organization of these British grannies. And uh, there wasn't called that, but that's why these British grannies. Um, and they had compiled all their stuff. So I get there a little bit early, thinking, oh gosh, they're going to tell me I can't come in and then look yet because I'm about 10 minutes early. But they let me you know, start looking around. And there's this giant table full of jewelry. And they're still putting more out, putting more out. So um, I picked up a basket, and I started uh, piling in the basket. And then the ladies are like, I think she's going to need a bigger basket. Yep. So I technically I spent $80 um, there, and but $5 of it were some Legos that they had that I picked up for the boys. So I'm going to switch it over to my camera, and I'll show you what all I got under the camera and maybe flip back if I talk, you know, need to talk to you because I like to talk to you in your face. Um, so I'm so excited. So there's some really good stuff and there were some things and I didn't, I didn't feel right pulling my magnet, my loop out in front of all of these, in front of my granny basically. I'm like, I couldn't do it. Um, hey, <laughs> hi Felicia. Hi Kelly. Hello. Hello. Okay. So let me switch it over to the camera. It might get choppy weird in just a second, but I'm going to do that. And let me see if I can remember how to do it. Clicking this, clicking this. All right, you'll see my brown table in just a second. Okay, do you see my brown table? You do, yay. Okay, it's going to get lit weird for a second. There, I'm trying to get on my windows so that they're acting correctly. There we go. Good, I think we've got it. So you see, there's my hand. Let me know if it's not, oh, I can see that it's not quite focused just right, so I'm trying to focus it on my ring there okay so let's get started hi Dawn <laughs> she's having a, a Margaret marathon she says oh thank you thank you okay so here we go and I did get a lot of stuff for that 75 bucks I'm gonna start off maybe I shouldn't start off with a bang okay I'm starting off with a bang I can't help it okay so first up I got this necklace and I may need to zoom out so you can see it so I'm gonna zoom out a bit so you can see it in all of its awesomeness so there's this necklace totally vintage and um, with this big purpley stone like so isn't it amazing and then three different shades in under here it looks kind of pink but they're more purple um, than pink so isn't that amazing oh my goodness I would hate to have that in the back maybe you can wear it backwards and have it in the front but I didn't see any makers mark on this one which was kind of amazing to me that it's so awesome and not have a maker's mark. So there's that one. And again, I didn't check this one, but I, you know, I don't, yeah, it's my head. Um, but isn't it so cool? Hey, the crazy card. Hi, Henry. Hello. 
Linda's Rocky Mountain finds hello, hello. Okay, so there's that one. But I, I definitely am going to be able to make my money back very, very easily. Okay, so then we've got some earrings here. They have these just crystal, like teardrop. They're slightly faceted, but they're not really sharply faceted, if that makes sense. Hey, Nevada, how's it going? Okay, then next up, I'm going to have to test these earrings on the, the chains um, because they are not magnetic at all, but I couldn't find any marks on them. So I'm going to put these in my pile um, to test. And they have these little cute crystals on there on the, in the bottoms. So let's see. What is it she's... She, I'm not sure what she's asking there. Okay. All right. So the next step, I'm going to go through this box next of goodies. And there's a lot. I'm just saying. I'm going to try to go quick. That's why I have the camera. Let me turn it around this way so you can see it better. So these are some lion earrings. And they're clip-ons. Now, the one of the lions is missing a stone. Or else it's just... Um, or else it's a dull stone. One of the... <laughs> Rio Lays, is that what we call it? Rio Lays? Yes, he's missing a stone. So this guy's missing a stone. But they're still really cool. I mean, I think even if somebody is repurposing them, that they'll be okay. Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know because I have my earbuds just in case. So there's those. And I didn't even check on the maker's mark on this one. No, I don't see one. Okay. Here we go. Keep it on, keep it on. Next we have these. Funky earrings, pastel, and they're clay or something, or stone. I mean, they're, yeah, something hard, maybe a porcelain that's been glazed like that with the pastel colors, kind of 80s. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yes, you can hear me. Now, there were a few earrings that were just kind of like ho hum. I didn't buy everything. I did not even try to buy everything because it was just, there was so much. So there are these just sort of classic gold tone. They're not gold gold. Um, but they are marked. They are marked. Oh, goodness. Can I even make that out? Napier. Okay, so that's a good costume jewelry brand, Napier. So they may go by themselves. They may go in a lot. We'll see. Then next up, I bought this little box. It says earring backs, a dollar. And you know what I always say is even in jewelry jars, check the backs of your earrings because sometimes, you know, somebody will grab up a, an earring and they need a back and they'll grab a back off of another earring. So um, there were a couple in here that were not attracted to the magnet that I'm going to check out. Um, but for the most part, they were all, you know, stainless steel or some other kind of metal. But I'm, I might need them when I find other earrings, you know, so that was handy. So that was a buck for those. Then we've got these plastic, probably lucite earrings um, that are inset with these purple little rhinestones. Aren't they fun? So there's those ones, and these are also clip-ons as well. And no maker's marks on them. Let me know if I'm holding things upside down. Hi, Jessica. Hello, Melissa. So there's those. Cool. And then, this is another one that I'm going to be checking out. Look at this brooch. Can y'all see that? Okay, I'm going to zoom it in. Woo! Zooming in and focusing a little bit. So it's, it's gold in color, and it's got this red stone, almost like a garnet red. Um, but I can't find any kind of maker's mark on it. And it's not magnetic at all. I mean, again, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gold, which I kind of doubt. Because generally, if that was a real um, gemstone, they would probably, you know, the backing wouldn't be closed off like that. So from what I've experienced so far, but I'm still, as I say, I'm a jewelry enthusiast, not an expert. I'm trying to get the clip out of here so I can look at it better, but it's frozen up. Anyway, so I'll look at that a little bit closer, but I just thought it was gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, there's that. Pick up a Belemo loop, Margaret. You can thank me later 10 times. I will. I will. Let's see. Multi-strand necklaces, larger stone decorative class, usually worn on the side. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yes. Melissa, we were talking about ASMR, soothing jewelry sounds. Yes, yes. Did you see? Oh, somebody made a video of that? Oh, I was joking about doing that. I never did. 
Oh, Felicia says, do you like this? Okay, good. She says she likes the new setup. Okay, good, good. Hi, Julie. Oh, and Julie, I was going to message you about your daughter's GoFundMe. Um, so if you can, send it to me on your um, on Facebook because I want to share it tomorrow on the Sunday when I talk to everybody on Sunday and uh, share it out in the group and everything like that. So um, send it to me um, on Facebook. Okay, so then I got this brooch as well. And it's this blue enamel with these shooting stars. Isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. And it is marked BJ on the back. Okay. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, so I was just thinking, okay, so, you know, I spent basically 80 bucks with the Legos. I got the boys. I mean, I think, I don't know what this is going to go for, but I'm guessing at least 20 bucks, right? There we go. I'm going to Atlanta. Okay, cool, cool, good. Okay, then I got this brooch, which looks really, I mean, to me it looked old, the way it was painted and everything. And I just kept reminding myself, well, these are like, they're all little British old ladies, you know, so some of this jewelry could have come from, the, you know, when they, when they came over. So there might be some different stuff. So there's that. Really cute. There. Uh, and then I got this really sweet cross pin. I don't know if it's a tie tack or if I could, you know, sell it as a, either a pin or a tie tack. It looks a little too short. Maybe not. Maybe it could be a tie tack as well. So I got that. I don't think I even checked it. There we go. Magnetic, very magnetic. Okay, okay. The prices were all pretty good. It was like a buck or 50 cents for each item. And I didn't want to, you know, nickel and dime these ladies because most of it was so cheap, right? Yes. Are brooches selling like hotcakes right now? I, I've sold some, and I've had some people message me interested in some as well. So, maybe. <laughs> All right, so then there's this uh, necklace, which, you know, it's not really gold, but it's, it's okay. And it was one, again, like I said, I didn't want to pull my loop and magnet out in front of all the grannies, you know, and insult them or anything. So I just was like, okay, it's a dollar. I'm sure I'll, you know, have something else to make up the money on, right? Okay. Oh, Julie says, let me know about that moon. I think I need it for my girl. Okay, I'll let you know. I'll let you know on that one. Then there are these big clip-on earrings. I'll try to put my hand. Here's my magnet for size. It's kind of hard to tell on the – there's the lens cap. How about a lens cap? That will tell us how big something is. So these are not marked that I could find. I thought they were pretty cool. They were really, some of the stuff just seemed really well made. It didn't seem like chintzy, cheapy. And it's pretty thick, you know, on the metal. So, I don't know. It didn't seem cheapy to me. Um, Rags is asking, what platform does your jewelry sell best? Uh, it's been kind of both on eBay and Etsy, uh, so I cross-post it. Yeah, sometimes something sells on eBay, sometimes it's Etsy. What did I sell one on just this week? I think I sold on Etsy this week. Okay, then here is another pendant. So it's got this black stone in it, really pretty. And then, so at first I thought it was one of those that has that magnet closure in the back, but it doesn't. It has a clasp. So you can unclasp it like so in the back, and then it, it locks into place. So it's really cool. And again, I, I didn't find a maker's mark on that, but I just thought it was really elegant, really um. What's the word I'm looking for? Classy. I just thought it was really classy. Hey, Lydia. Okay, so I'm going to look real fast again to see if I see any maker's marks on it. But I, I don't think I did. No. No. It helps when I find a maker's mark because then it helps kind of narrow down, you know, where you can, you know, how, how old it might be or um, how much you can ask for it. Okay, then there were a few of these rings. I just couldn't resist. I thought they were so cute. So they are, let's see if I can get the little charms to show you. There's a little boy and a little girl, and there's like a broken heart. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. So I'm wondering who's breaking whose heart, right? There's a, yeah, again, boy, girl, breaking hearts. And uh, they're not magnetic, so I mean, they might be silver. I don't know. We'll see. I just thought they were adorable. There's a little stamp on that one. Maybe I'll check it out. 
Maybe I'll check it out. No, it's just a dent. Okay. I mean, I can... They're kind of tarnished, so they, there's a chance that they're silver, but let me see on the inside. Do, do, do. No, I don't see any marks, so who knows? Who knows? Here's another one. I've got four. <laughs> Why did I buy them all? Oh, wait, there is a mark on this one. Okay, 95 right in there. Good, okay. Do they even fit me? They're little. They're teeny. They might fit. Yeah, they kind of fit my ring finger, <laughs> but they're cute. I like that broken heart. Sucka. No, sorry. <laughs> so there's four of those. I don't know. They were just adorable. And then another couple of dangle uh, rings. So there's one with one little puppy heart, one with the little bells. They don't really ring. There's a little tinkle to them. And then one with two hearts. And this one is also marked. Let's see what that says in there. This one also says 925 and then SE. So super cute for those. Okay. Again, everything I got, the jewelry, was $75. Okay. I'm putting everything back in this box and then I'm digging into the rest. Back in the box, you guys. we got to make room for everybody else. Okay. Then we've got these. Sterling silver earrings that are inset with, I don't know what, something blue. I don't think it's turquoise. I mean, it's turquoise in color, but not actually turquoise. I really don't think. But they're cool. I just thought they were really pretty. And for a quarter, yeah. <laughs> a little tinkle, Julie says. <laughs> Sometimes, Margaret. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you, and if you see something, guys, let me know because I'll set it to the side so I don't lose it in the mix. You know, there's a new trend of joint knuckle rings. Apparently, if the rings don't fit all the way down your finger, they, they sit further up. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. And, hey, and if you're in the jewelry group, we were talking about what our favorite find, what, one of the questions we were asking was, what is your favorite find from a garage sale, jewelry-wise? This was mine that I got at a garage sale for 75 cents. It's 10 karat gold and diamond ring. Sorry, I'm just like, is my finger not ready? Um, yeah, so that's my, my favorite Okay, the next step, um, this is a little sterling silver chain with these overlaid, you know, they're hexagons. I may ask my sister if she wants it because she is keeping these now. So um, I don't know if that other one on top is, is anything, but the chain is marked uh, 925. So I'm setting this one aside in the pile, the growing pile for my sister. <laughs> so that's, let me put that over there by the moon. All right, now I'm gonna un, I'm gonna take you off screen share for one second so I can show you the rest that I'm gonna be coming through, so you'll see where I'm going, where it's, where this is going, and how much time you you think you've got to spare. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tilt the the, can, the computer down. So here's my chair. This is everything else that we still haven't looked at yet. So like, okay, we can we hopefully maybe do this in the rest of this hour because I don't want to go over an hour. Okay, here we go. Back to screen share. Here it comes. And how's that looking? Better? Okay, good. Okay. Oh, I missed something. Alrighty. So next up, we've got what I think is a Brighton uh, bracelet. It looks like a Brighton bracelet. Like so. Um, and again, I mean, she was like... Bracelets were a dollar, necklaces were a dollar, earrings I think were either a dollar or 50 cents. Some things were priced individually, some things it was just like the whole bag for five dollars, that kind of thing. Oh, hi, Thrifty Paper Garden. Hi, Julie. Okay. <laughs> oh, Julie's on Great Big Spit says, thank you. <laughs> I try to be. Okay, then next up for two dollars was this charm bracelet. Let me. Like su souvenir. Pardon me. Oh, I forget it's upside down. Here we go. So we have got a Texas charm on it, and we've got praying hands. We've got a four leaf clover with a little emerald ish stone. And oh, hey, my sister is there. Elaine, tell me if you like this. <laughs> I don't know if you were here when I was showing that necklace. So this is Elaine's sterling silver, and it's got like this little hexagon. Looks like a little bee. 
e thingy, a B cell. I don't know what you call it, B cell. Anyway, I was setting that aside for you to see if you wanted it. So anyway, put it over there. <laughs> Elaine in the, in the in the chat. That's my sister. If y'all are in there, say hey, Elaine. So then there's this. It's got a little church. I just love this four leaf clover. But they're all where'd my magnet go? I mean, they're none of them are real. They're all you know magnetic. What does it say on the back of that? So here we've got uh, this looks like the Serenity Prayer on the back. Yeah, the Serenity Prayer is on the back of this. Oh, you like it? Good, 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 Elaine. Okay, I'll put that on your pile. I've got a pile going for you. Okay, so that's cool. And um, right there. <laughs> then we have got this. I, uh, you know me. I always get mixed up with when I, I have to see brass and copper side by side. I think this is brass because copper is more orangey. Um, this brass cuff. I'm getting there. I don't know. Everybody's got their thing, right? It's really heavy. This is a really heavy cuff, and the. Pieces are not, you know, loose. They're all molded together, welded together, however they work it. So very cool bracelet. So that was a dollar again, too. The pins were 50 cents. Yes, brass. Okay. I don't know why. I, I guess it's my, you know, you some people see colors differently here. They can't distinguish. Who knows why? It just is. Okay, then this was another one. Again, I wasn't sure about, so I didn't, you know, bust out my, um, magnet or anything. I'm trying to focus it for you so you can see it a bit better. Nope, that's worse. How about that? It's a bit better. There. There. Okay, so a little angel. She's missing a stone, but you know, I thought she might bring some interest maybe in a in a lot or something like that. So it's good. It's all good. She can go in a lot, most likely. Then I'll show you a couple other ones that are gold tone. So here's a gold tone necklace and I can't think I think this is a this might be some kind of a lily because it's got that lip that sticks out you know like a oh gosh you know like a lily so anyway so there's this necklace and it's got these two little dangles like so and again not gold but just cute I think but this one I'll probably still I'll try to sell by itself because I've got to nail down what this flower is called because it's got that lip that sticks out, you know. Anyway. Oh, the bees are good, she says. She's requeening. Oh, these are, these are, oh, cool, look. Okay. These are pull cords. So you can shorten the necklace if you need to, like so, and have these. Oh, you can make them one's longer than the other, make it really cutesy, right? An orchid. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. My brain is just, whoosh. Anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, orchid. Now I've got to see if my friend AJ wants it because she's an orchid lady. So there's that orchidy necklace. I'm right. Okay, that's going to the side for AJ. <laughs> she's like the orchid whisperer. You know, I will kill an orchid. Oh, it's horrible. But she's got so many, like, awesome orchids. Okay, next up, I'm looking. Oh, dear. I'm not sure what's. Chipmunk debut. Okay, I'm missing something. So the next up, there are these two. They're earrings, but I think the hooks are missing. Sorry, I'm trying to lay it out flat so you can see how it looks. Well, it's not wanting to participate. There we go. So it looks like so. And all I need to do is get some ear hooks for them. It's a, a felon opus on the Pope. I'm, say, I'm not going to say that right, Melissa. I'll just, I'll just give it to AJ. <laughs> okay, so here are these, and I'll, I'm going to sell these by themselves, so I'll just get some, pull some hooks from another um, set of earrings because I think these are cool enough to sell by themselves. Hi, Vanessa, hello. Let's see if I can say that orchid name. Phalanopus. Phalanopus. Is that right? Maybe that's right. Okay, so those ones are going to go by themselves. Then, then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We've got something from White Diamonds. Ooh, these were the ones I was telling you about, Elaine. They're like these little horseshoe earrings. These are sterling silver, and I don't know if the stone in them is a little teeny diamond. It's hard to get the it's super shiny. Um, there's a little teeny stone in there. I don't know if they're little tiny diamonds or if they are just like a chip or if they're crystals. Who knows? 
Um, but I'm tempted to keep these because I like the the horseshoes, you know? We'll see. We'll see. What is oh, okay, I'm missing something in the chat. Phalaenopsis. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Julie's a florist. Okay. Let's see. I'm missing some stuff in the chat, I think, too. If I miss something, you've got questions or something you want me to um, see, say it again because sometimes I miss it. That goes with emails, too. Sometimes I'll, I'll get the email or it gets, somebody wanted something from one of the last halls, but like I've got like different emails and different Facebook tags, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> So message me again, or if I get back with you and then I get busy and I don't, you know, respond back again, re-message me because I'm not trying to be mean, I promise. Okay, then, and then they were real good, a lot of stuff they put on cards even though they didn't go with that card. So there's this pin. It didn't, you know, same thing with a lot of the earrings and stuff. They carded them all, which was really nice so you're not digging around trying to find the correct mate. So there's this really nice brooch. Really pretty, I thought. Right there. It's over there. And then this was one, I think they, they must have thought it was gold. Because they put five bucks on it. But it's it's magnetic. Um, but I again, I didn't want to pull my stuff out in front of the little old ladies. So I thought, you know what, I'll take a chance. It's for a good cause. <laughs> you know? Do I ever sell a piece of jewelry, like with a top or blouse, to stress on an auction? Mm. No, I, d I don't. But I don't really sell clothes either. Um, I may have a couple pieces. Every now and then I'll find some vintage piece that I like that I'll sell. Um, but no. Now, and I'm wondering if they got it at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. I don't know. Or if they just stuck it in a box. Who knows? I don't know. Again, didn't want to pull my stuff out in front of the little ladies. That sounds bad. Okay, then we got a cute tennis racket brooch. Like so. Oops. Um, so it's got this white, like, cabochon-type bead here. And then in the handle, there are little teeny beads. I don't know if you can see that. I think there might be a couple missing, but we'll see. Let me look real fast. Oh, no, they're not little beads. They're just indented to make them look like there's little stones. So there's not actually little stones in there. Um, there's a thing where they, like, pinch the metal to make it look like a stone, but it's not. Oh, no. Oh, okay, you scored, but no jewelry, Tam says. Darn. Okay, and then so on the back... There is a maker's mark right there, so let me see what the brand is. It says, oh dear, um, C-E-R-R-Y-S. C -E -R -R -Y -S. C I don't know that brand. So C-E-R-R-Y-S is what it says, unless I'm reading it wrong. I don't think so, though. C-E-R-R-Y apostrophe S. And again, that might be... Some either a, a jewel or obviously it's a jewelry brand. I don't know um, But I was wondering like if some of the stuff they brought with them was from the United Kingdom or maybe makers from over there who knows And then we've got this wonderful Aquarius um, Necklace it is magnetic, but it's still really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that individually It's got that blue background. I thought it was cool. There's that Let's see. Oh, jewelry was scarce. That's how it was for me last weekend. Jewelry was really scarce. And then we have a money clip. It is engraved, but I think it's okay. I think that they can, you know, one, either wait and see if they can find some. I can see if somebody has those initials. Or I think there's a way to, you know, not buff it out, but, you know, scrape it off and redo it. I'm trying to pop it off and see. Come on. There we go. What does it say on the back? Oh, it's Anson. Okay. What says it in the box? Duh. Okay, so there's that. I need to find somebody with the initials AJN. <laughs> there we go. There's that one. And then, oh, check check this one out. This is really pretty. So this necklace, I'm going to zoom out a bit. Hang on. I might have to refocus. We'll see. Okay, so here we've got this necklace with these really pretty glass beads and then these glass panels set um, with... But I think I think it's silver that they're set with in there. Really, really pretty. And then it has the kind of Y shape at the at the base. I bet it's a G Jerry's. Okay, I bet you're right. I bet you're right. That sounds right. Paula, thank you. 
Okay, and then that's Avenue. So probably not actually silver, it just looks like it. Maybe, unless Avenue makes silver jewelry. I don't know. And it's tarnished. There's a chance. I'll take a peek at it closer. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Oh, you're right. Okay. So then there's that. Can, is it? I'm not sure it's capturing the iridescence on this glass. It might be a little bit, but it's really iridescent. Really pretty. Okay, so there's that. And I'm trying to go through some of the other loose stuff. Then there's this necklace and earrings. Sorry, it's crinkling. Yeah. Okay, so there the earrings match. And I think somebody made this, you know, to sell or was making jewelry, but it's still cute. So we've got this, and it's on a stretch sort of cord, but really pretty bronzy beads and glass. These glass beads are really pretty. And then it's got this book locket. Isn't it cute? Like so. There we go. There's that. Put that over there. And a couple other just costume jewelry bracelets. This one, costume jewelry bracelet. Pretty. And no maker's mark, but I just liked it. I liked it. And then again, a couple others that I wasn't sure. I mean, I, I was pretty sure this was not really gold, but I liked it as well. I keep saying that. I liked it. I liked it. So there's that. And it is marked Napier. Napier. Yeah. So that's a Napier. Well, cool. zoom back in. In you go. Okay, and then this necklace is super awesome. Ready? It's a gold tone, and the pendant is a snake. Can you see it? Okay, let me see if I can get it. He's coiled. He's striking like so. I mean, he's yeah, he's not really gold, but he, he's gold in color. But he's gold tone. Very cool. I liked him. Let's see, and away you go. So I, it didn't matter that he was not real gold because he was just awesome. And then another really cute. I think this is an anklet. It's too large to be a bracelet. So it's got this nice little stone on it, and it's on a chain. Cute. Isn't the snake cute? <laughs> is it? Then, let's see if I can get this box open. Come on, open. So this was another one they had priced at $5. I think they probably thought it was something fancier than it was, and I was like, well, okay, I'll take a chance on it. But it is magnetic as well. It's still pretty. It's a dainty little tennis bracelet. And... I didn't see any marks on it, but I, again, I didn't mind paying up on a couple things because I got a lot of nice stuff. That is a striking necklace. Oh, <laughs> good one, Julie. <laughs> okay, we still have quite a bit more to get through, so I'm going to keep moving. How are we doing on time? We're about halfway there. Maybe we'll make it. Wait, maybe we'll make it. So then this bag was, everything in this bag was a dollar. So there was this necklace with the little black roses. That was pretty. This also had one of these, um, I always get them wrong, is it puka shell, is that what they're called? And then two gold tone necklaces, well, they're not, okay, they're not magnetic, I'm guessing they're gold tone, but because there's, I don't see any marks on them, okay? So I am going to be, hi Hyper Picker, um, I'm going to put them in my to test pile just because you know, they're not magnetic, and I could not find a mark on them, though. So, well, hang on. I think I see a mark on this one. Probably coconut shell, Elaine says. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not a mark. I mean, they would. I would think they would be marked. So, anyway, I'm just going to put them in my pile to test, just in case, because they're not magnetic. This one has a really cute um, little pink, pinky purple stone in it down there. So there's that. Hello, hello. Okay, so that's going over to the side for me to put in my testing pile. Then we've got some cufflinks. Yay, cufflinks. Uh, so the first set look like so. And they're in pretty good shape. They're not, you know, ding, dinged up too much. These are pretty cool. And are they branded? Nope, no brand on those ones. Next up, we've got these that look like, at first I thought they were dragonflies, but I think they're just, you know, stylized something. They're not exactly dragonflies. And these are 
Ooh, there it goes. Also not branded, but still cool, I think. Cool. And then these ones are in the shape of Florida. Look. So there's Florida, and then there's like, what is this guy? There's a palm tree, and look, what are those, coconuts maybe? I'm not sure. And a guy playing golf, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Um, have I ever picked up genuine jewelry, gold, gemstones at auction to resell for a higher price point? Um, not off of eBay. I have picked up stuff from a, an auction, a local auction that I've done that with, but I've been finding so much lately. I haven't been doing the online auction, so I've got a lot to work with. Let's see. So then next up, I've got this bracelet. And it's got all these little shoe charms on it. So there's high heels and running shoes and little pumps. What else? All kinds of little shoes on it. Little slip-on ballet-looking shoes. Lots of shoes. <laughs> lots and lots of shoes. Little flat ones. It is magnetic. It was just cool, right? There we go. Let's see. I'm, just, I'm trying to see if I missed anything in the chat, but I don't think so. Okay, so there's that. Again, I didn't see a maker's mark on it. Very cool. This one I did pay $2 for. And then I'm trying to save some of the baggies. There were a couple of watches. This is a Timex. Let me zoom in for you so you can see it a bit better. Zoom, focusing. So there's this Timex. I'm trying to get the glare off. Looks like this. And um, I'll have to get a new battery for it. But it's pretty cool, I think. I haven't looked it up, um, but I think Timex is doing okay. I think it's an older one as well. So there's that. And again, I think it was a dollar or fifty cents. And then another Timex here. Uh, Randy really liked this one, but the face on it's a little smaller. And this is a you know a wind um, one. So I wound it, so now it's it wasn't working earlier, but now it's ticking. So that's awesome. So I will have to. Set it and see how it does keeping time. Very cool. It's pretty nice. I wonder if I need to watch. <laughs> so there's that one. Cool. How we doing? How we doing? Okay, so this bag, I'm going to hold off on this bag because I know what's in this bag. All right, so we've got some earrings here. Let's go through these earrings. You wait over there. Ah. So next... That's their logo, right? Timex takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> All right, so we've got these earrings. They are plastic, possibly a loose sight. I'm going to have to double check them. Um, but they, they have this clear dome. I don't know if you can see that. And then inlaid in there is what looks like oyster shell. It's not really picking up the iridescence on them in the camera. But they're really pink and purpley, green, iridescent um, oyster shell looking in there. So there's that. Very cool. And then these ones were awesome. Again, I didn't see a maker's mark on them, but look at these. Here's the lens cap. So they're really big clip-on earrings. And again, no maker's mark, but super cool, heavy-duty, very nice earrings. Okay. And then ch check these ones out, right? They're funky. If you want to see funky, here comes. These ones are also very large, green, plastic, and like so. I'm trying to hold it a little lower there, like so. And again, I think, I mean, this, this is kind of tarnished like silver. I don't see a mark, though, so pardon me. So it may not be. But, no, never mind. They may be plated or something like that. Um, all right, let me close those up. I took the back off of that one. So those are pretty funky, right? Cool, right? <laughs> you like those, Elaine? <laughs> and then there's some, um, this is LG is what the, inside the little crest, LG. I don't know what that stands for. I can't think of it. Is it a C? Oh, it's a G. Yeah, LG inside the crest of these. They look like buttons, but they're earrings, and they're really thick. They're really heavy. So those were nice, I thought. Very classy, classic looking. 
<laughs> Elaine's are kind of actually like those green ones. Yeah. Okay, then we've got these hoops that have a knot and a pearl dangling from them. Next, some little cages that you could put, you know, your gemstones in that you like. Some people put, you know, they put the pearls or whatever in there. These ones remind me of the 80s, big time. There's the ladies with the hats and the fans in profile. Seriously, 80s, totally. Okay, there's those. And then, hang on, let me dump these real fast. I'll kind of dump them. You can watch me sort them out so you can see them as I go. How about that? We've got some big gold hoops. They're not real gold. They are, I think they were marked um, Monet. Or no, they, not, not these ones. There was another one marked Monet. So big gold hoops. Cool. I'll sell those. <laughs> you have to tell me which ones you love because I, I, if I'm moving too fast, I won't, I won't catch up with you. Um, where's the mate for this one? So then we have these, sort of a teardrop shape with some rhinestone or crystals in there. And these do not have a maker's mark either. Like so. Catch up with you later. Bye, Elaine. Love you. <laughs> and then we've got some little pink shell earrings like that. These were all like in a bag together, so I just got them all. Here we've got some moon moon shaped rather these are screw back earrings like so but they're not missing any stones it's really pretty oh it's super blurry let me zoom back a little bit let me zoom out a little and then focus 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 there okay so there's those like that then some that looked like that just i mean some of them are just kind of plain well but they were in the lot, so there were some other ones. Some marbly earrings. Like that. And then these were also some that I was just kind of like, yeah, okay, they were in there. Tell me if I'm going too fast. I want to show you everything though. And we're running out of we're running out of the time. Some wooden ones. And these little focus, focus. And I think these ones are silver. No, maybe not. Okay. All right, that might just be the hinge in there catching. Let's see. No, no. Okay, there's those. These are pretty. So these are little silver tone crosses with, I think that's black in there. Yeah, a little black stone. I couldn't tell if they were black or just dark purple, but I think they're black. Yeah, black. Pretty cool. Magnetic. That's cool. They're still pretty. Then, for, do clip-ons sell well for you? Um, they can take some time. It's true. But they're fun to pick up. <laughs> they, yeah, but sometimes they sit. It just kind of depends. So there's these ones that are okay. And then these were a pair that I kind of thought might be something when I looked at them because I could see scratches on the, the posts. But they're not, they're not really gold at all. Um, they are marked Napier on the posts. So those are gold tone Napier earrings, but they're very pretty anyway. Okay, so next, I'm trying to, is that a cat? Oh, those are my cats. Okay. Woo. All right, so next up, I have this bag. Again, this bag was all a dollar. And we have this silver I think this is silver tone, unless the cord, because look, when I grab at it, no, not, maybe it wasn't this one. One of them was magnetic, and I thought, well, maybe it's the, the wire there inside of it, because these beads look like they are silver beads. Anyway, so it's got these purple amethyst-colored stones, but I think they're just plastic. Still pretty, 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 pretty. And then this one as well has these barrel, you know, silver barrel beads with some green stones, just chips in there. Okay, Pudgy Picker says clip on sell in her booth and do okay. Good, that's good, good, good. Okay, and then also in this $1 bag is this Constellation 
necklace. Can y'all see that okay? So there's that on this side, and then this side, it's just there's some Roman numerals, and looks like my kids like went after it with their Hot Wheels and drove some tracks on it. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Um, so there's that. Again, this is not silver, gold, um, but it was fun anyway, like so. Let's see. Okay, so moving on. We have a little bit more. I got this necklace like this. It's on a cord like that, really long. And then it's got these dangles down here. At first I thought this seems like one of those that you would hang your glasses from around your neck, but you would think these would scratch your glasses up, right? So maybe not. It's nice, it's pretty. Okay. Then this cool brooch with these these guys dancing around. And it is marked, I think that says Chico's on the back. It says heart to heart, hand to hand. Like that. And I think that it says Chico's in the middle. Yeah, Chico's. There's that. And I've sold a pin similar ish to this that had like ladies dancing on it. Um, and it didn't, it didn't take too long to sell. It was really cute. Hey, Vicky, how's it going? And then here are some cool clip-ons. They kind of reminded me of Pan's flute <laughs> or bark from a tree. So there's those, and they're really heavy. They're really thick and heavy as well. But, again, no maker's mark on them. So that's curious and unfortunate. I wish I had a maker's mark. But they're cool. Now... Let's see. I'm trying to see if I should. I'm going to just keep going because we're getting closer, and then I want to share solo earrings and things. I'm pulling everything up. Okay, so here we've got some more earrings. Can you wait over there. It's not your turn yet. Some more earrings in here. We've got these pearly button type earrings and these 80s. Pink, <laughs> pink banana style. You remember the banana clips? That, that's what these remind me of. Banana clips. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh. Putting these on. I'm going to rock it. I'm going to crimp my hair and just rock it. <laughs> then, okay, where's the mate to this one? There's some purple ones, sort of like, they're smaller than the pink ones, but there they are. These ones are cool too. Like this. Those are really nice. And they, they're not, they're not marked either, which was, I don't know. I mean, they seem like really good quality ones, so I'm surprised they wouldn't have a maker's mark on them. But they don't. So there's that. Cool. Oh, I need my camera. They're pretty long, you know. My lens cap, so you can get an idea. This knot. These are clip-ons as well, these knots. <laughs> Melissa says, I think you should. Throw them on, print my hair, make a day of it. Then we've got these earrings with this enamel blue in there. These are also clip-ons. Like that. Cool. Am I going too fast, you guys? I'm trying to get through the rest of the, the stuff for you. Some brown, um, just brown balls. <laughs> like so, one is missing a backing, but that's okay. And then these were, I think these could be coral. Um, they're on this sort of gold colored post, which are, they're not magnetic, but I couldn't find any marks. They're a bit dark too, so I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna have to look at these a little bit closer. Just, they look like carved, maybe pink coral. I got some dust. Some little, ah, oh, dust. Plastic, these are just little plastic faceted beads. And these, again, were just some that are kind of, I mean, to me, it's like, eh, two-tone, swirly earrings. And then those ones, some enamel white, what do you say, teardrop? Um, <clears throat> I'll say, when I get to the ones that I was, the reason I bought, I wanted this bag of earrings, one, these were in there. Just look. <laughs> They're so cool. They're really, like, atomic, futuristic. They remind me of, you know the movie Metropolis? Back in the, what was it, the 20s or something like that? 
Oh no, Tim, I'm trying to make it live. She says you made a video. So anyway, these ones are super cool. They're like robotic looking, you know. Very cool. And then these earrings. These are clip-ons as well. Um, they're gold tone. They said David Growl. David G R A U. Um, I've heard this name, but I can't. I don't see it too often, so I don't know exactly. Those are Navajo pearls. These ones? Angie says. These ones right here? Tell me which ones. The pink. Okay, so there's that. And then these earrings are a plastic that I'm probably going to test uh, because they don't seem like normal plastic. So those ones are going to test. And then they've got, and I just saw a mark on this backing right there. That gold. Oh, just a copyright. Copyright what? That's weird. Okay. So anyway, there's these kind of brown. Who's like, you know what I need? Some brown. Oh no, oh these ones. Okay, okay. Oh cool. Thank you, Angie. Navajo pearls. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. There's that. And then we've got these turquoise colored stones on nine two five. They look like little purses or fans. Aren't they cute? Hi, Cindy. <laughs> there we go. Those are awesome. And some gold tone hoops. And some red button earrings. Now these ones, these next ones I am keeping, okay? I I saw these and like forget about it. These are coming in with me. Look at their little enamel. Let me zoom in on them so you can see them. Look at them, they're little mushrooms. Aren't they adorable? So yeah, these ones are staying right here in my house for me. <laughs> One more look. Little enamel mushrooms. That's the back. That's the front. There. So those are going over there for me. Now, moving on. Still some more stuff. Yes, all of this was $75. Then we've got this. Um, oops, zoom out. You can't see that. Zooming out. So this necklace is a Premier Jewelry, which is a current costume jewelry brand. Um, but it's a pretty cool necklace. I mean, the chain is really nice. Mushroom Princess, yes. <laughs> I love it. Those are so funky weird, right? Okay, so there's that. And then there's this silver necklace. Things are getting kind of messy up here. Let me scoot some things over. And then... That one's got a slight tug to it, so. But I just liked it. I mean, if I could find, let me zoom out a little bit. If I could find like a nice, big, you know, silver tone charm to go on that, that would be good. And it might even sell by itself as is. I like that style of chain, you know. So there's that one, and then this one is silver. They had it. Now I see why. They had it laid out in this napkin so it would not tangle up so it was all rolled up in this napkin like so so it's got these silver bead balls that are graduated and then take a look at the the closure on it oh let me get out from underneath this white so you can see it better and you'll see that it's like a barrel closure and then you press down on this lever to unhinge it or to open it like that isn't that cool it's so different and then it slides back in Boop, like that so that's a silver really cool silver necklace i don't know i kind of like it okay i'm gonna put that in my maybe keep it pile <laughs> maybe keep it maybe sell it or keep it for now and sell it someday pile um still going still going this okay check out this bracelet this bracelet is a Monet bracelet, and it's the Ten Commandments. I, I didn't, <laughs> I, I'm saving it, Cindy. I'm the, I, haven't saved, I haven't done that one yet. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. That's coming. I was trying to hide it. I didn't do a very good job. Okay, so here we've got this Monet bracelet, charm bracelet, and it's got the Ten Commandments. All right, so here's one, two, three, four. Love, honor thy father and mother, thou shalt not kill. Look, right? It's all the Ten Commandments on there. Thou shalt not steal. 
Isn't that cool? I've never seen that before. Pretty cool. Um, you know, it is magnetic, but I really think that's going to go for. I think it, I think it'll go for good money. I haven't looked it up, but again, haven't seen anything like it before. Haven't run across anything like it. Very cool. Okay, since Cindy saw it, I'll show you. <laughs> so if you are if you're in jewelry lovers and sellers, we've been working on um, amber this month. And one of the things that we've been talking about is the different things that mimic amber or try to, you know, fake it, you know, or imitations. So not necessarily. So one of the things was plastic and lucite. And I found these. And I, next week we're going to be testing the um, – we're next – or this coming week we're going to be talking about how to test um, different things to find out whether they're amber or copal or lucite. Um, and I didn't have any pieces. So when I saw these at the garage sale, I was like, Yes! Now I've got some things that are, you know, mimicking amber that I think are probably lucite and maybe just straight up plastic. We'll find out um, this week. So um, there's this really cool necklace, which this one I think might be lucite, and this one, which looks kind of like a like a root beer type of amber, <laughs> root beer color. Um, that was shall come at Margaret's jewelry and <laughs> Julie. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was really excited to find these for that. And we've got some members of the Jewelry Lover and Sellers group in the chat. So hopefully, you know, you guys can give it a shout out. Because it's I'm having a lot of fun with it and learning a lot from everybody. And I'm hoping that you guys are learning a lot too. So <laughs> anyway, so then next up I got this really cool kind of a navy blue. And then it kind of goes out to a cobalt blue um, brooch. And it is, I think there's a little mark down here. So I didn't peek at it before. Oh, where did it go? There it is. Um, let's see. I see smiles. Okay, good. And the, oh, it's a Coro. Wait, is that so cool? Yeah, it's a Coro. So that's a Coro brooch. Nice. Liddy says, yep, love the group. Okay, good, good. Good. <laughs> oh, what's today? Okay, tomorrow's my poll day because Sundays I put out a poll question. So tomorrow's my poll day. So, and then I, I got this. It's a Volks, it's an old Volkswagen. Can you see that? Volkswagen, um, I don't know, but it's German. Can you see that? It says Nuremberg on there. Volkswagen, Franz Huber, Nuremberg, and then the telephone, telephone 30913. And then inside it is this random key, which may or may not be. I don't think this is a Volkswagen key. But I don't know. I just thought it was awesome, weird, different. You know, you can put that on your belt loop. Um, but there are people that collect Volkswagen stuff, so that there might be somebody who's into this. Really, I mean, how long ago was te were telephone numbers five digits, right? Can y'all see that okay? Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it. I mean, how long ago in Germany were telephone numbers five digits? You know what I mean? Nuremberg. Anyway, cool. So I'm going to have to figure out how to date this and see if there are any collectors out there that would be interested in something like that. Isn't that cool? I thought so. Then, a couple other things. We've got this M pin. It's just a pin back, like so. We have, this is a scarf clip. A nice little scarf clip. It's got all the stones in there. Didn't even look for a maker's mark on it. No, I don't see one. Very late to the party. Hi, Patty. How's it going? I need to get those earrings out to you, or else we need to get together for some coffee, one or the other. Um, and then this really nice pin that has MMB initials on there. So I know it's, you know, it might take a while to find the right person, but I just really liked it. it was, and it's big. See, it's really big. It's really big. And then we've got these pearls. They are marked Avon. I looked at them earlier. Coffee and shopping. Yes, Patty. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. Hey, Turtle Trader. I missed you. Then we're getting there. We're getting closer to the end. You're doing great. Okay, this was really cool. So this is um, Jerusalem on it. It's a keychain. And then the inside of it, maybe you guys can help me. It looks like rubble. So maybe they picked up. You know, something from a holy site, rocks or dust or something. You, you guys might be able to 
Okay, <laughs> something with about a raccoon using a cat box to crazy card. I don't know. Um, so yeah, somebody certainly will know what is housed in this um, keychain. So pretty cool. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was very unusual, so I took it home. Then also, this is also a you know religious symbol bracelet, or it's just barbed wire. What do you think? I think it's a religious, you know, like when they put barbed wire on them. So there's that. Not exactly barbed wire. What are the thorns? I don't know. Maybe it's just barbed wire. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. So there's that cool bracelet. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Maybe it's just barbed wire. <laughs> like that. Then a nice little lapel pin with a flower. Okay, I know we're at the, the hour mark, but I'm almost done. We're doing really good. And I'm saving, of course, the best for last. You know I am. Then look at this. It's like a stylized, I mean, to me, it looked like a stylized crown. So hang on, let me hold it still. Looks like this. And yeah, I mean, it's a brooch. What else would it be? I think it's like a stylized crown or something. But again, these ladies were from the UK, so there's no telling. Anyway, no marks or anything. Ah, there. Cool deal. And we have got this Avon pin, which is really pretty. And, and Thelma in the group was just sharing some Avon stuff that sold for her. Pretty cool. Hey, Doc, it'll do you. <laughs> oh, you just got here. Okay, I'll start over. How about that? <laughs> and then, okay, look at this brooch, you guys. It's adorable. Look at this Scotty dogs. These little enamel black Scotty dogs. Aren't they so cute? So here it is flipped over like that. Really, really sweet enamel Scotty dog pin. I just fell in love with those, yes. Okay, there's that. Then we've got a silver pendant with this big pearly cabochon, and it looks like it could be like a little garnet cabochon on there. So here's that. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. And then get a load of these. Here we go. Look at this. I may have to zoom out for this one. And it has matching earrings, you guys. It's got, let me zoom out so you can see. So there's this necklace with these, what are like white jaguars or something or cheetahs? Here we go. And then there's matching earrings with these door knocker things on them. Aren't they so awesome? Um, so yeah, that was really cool. So that was $4. Let me zoom in so you can get a good look at those. I don't know what kind of, Wildcats, you think those are? Uh oh. Make your martyr. Okay, cool. Jewelry drawers, yay. Okay, so there's this. I'm going to have to figure out what kind of wildcats those are supposed to be because they're just crazy awesome. And I, again, I didn't see, I'm surprised how I didn't see a mark. <laughs> yes. So they've got this vintage closure. And I just, I have no idea because I, there's no maker's mark on them. I mean, who makes this type of jewelry that looks like really nice quality cheetah? Yes. Thank you. Oh, wait, I think I see a mark there. Thank you to Crazy Card. Okay, I think I see a mark on the back of this one. Oh, I do. Let me flip it over. It's upside down. Yeah, the, these are enameled. The cheetahs are enameled. So it's Dorian. Do you guys, this is a brand, I, I think I've heard of this brand before, but it's not really the, something I see a lot. So Dorian is the brand on the back of the earrings. So I'm going to have to look that one up. That seems like a society lady, right? She would really wear that with her society outfit. Very cool, though. I don't know. I just fell in love with that. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, and then I have one more bit to show you. And I never did show you the gold yet. Ha ha, I saved it for the end. <laughs> so we have this bag, which I thought was just a bunch of earrings. Um, five bucks. I think she gave it to me for three bucks. But these ended up being all just solo earrings. But there's some awesome 
awesome solos in here. So look at this solo earring with the marcasites and the pearl. It's beautiful. If I can hold it still, you can see it better. Like this. Cool. And then some are just kind of like ho hum in my book. But they're, you know, like just solo earrings. But somebody was saying that solo earrings, Beyonce House of. No, no. Dor it's D O R I A N. <laughs> Dorian. Like that, like the portrait of Dorian Gray. That kind of Dorian. There's another solo. But wait, watch this solo. Could you imagine if the mate for this one was in there? And this is an earring. It's huge. Look. Like here, here's normal studs. Look at the size of this huge, like amethyst stone, polished stone. And, and this is, I'm guessing, silver. Yeah. Um, look at that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I think that could be repurposed into an, a pendant very easily because it's really big. Anyway, so, so cool. Dorian looks to do well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Holy knockers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, like cracking me up. Okay, so then there's these little stones. These ones did have a this one did have a mate. These little stone um, square rather cubes earrings. So I'm gonna zip through these and then I'll show you a little bit more. There's that earring solo. That was a solo. So either we'll do a so I wish that the mate had been there for this one. Look at this. Hang on. Can you see it okay? Let me tip it up. It's got these like acorns and oak leaves. And then these little set stones. I mean, it's super cool. I mean, yeah, there's a couple stones missing, but it's got so much going on, so much imagery. And then there's like these um, Roman numerals along the sides and the top. So, so cool. But again, <laughs> the mate's not there, unfortunately. Then there's this one. This is a silver earring that was in there. This one was a not gold earring by itself in there. Then this little tie clip, like that. Another solo piece. I don't have it turned around the right way. And then this solo piece is kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Where'd that other one go? Of course I can't find it now. Oh, there it is. Solo. I'm just going to zip them at you real fast. That one would have been nice. This is a screw back. Like that. And another, this one is silver as well. I kind of wish the mate was there for this one, but it's not. But I still think somebody might buy it, you know. There. Now, not this one, but another one. This one is a solo, and this one ended up being 14 karat gold. So that was good. So I'll have to see how much this one will be by itself. I'm guessing, uh, I don't know what gold prices are right now, but I'm just kind of guesstimating maybe 30, 40 bucks, depending on what its weight is for that. So that goes over there. A little silver ball. And I'm just gonna show you these all at one time so I can show you the rest. And then we'll be all done. Oh wait, we did have the mate for that one. Aha, ta-da, yay. Okay, oh and this one has a mate too. No, it doesn't. Those aren't matching. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And this one didn't have a mate. Okay, so there. Look at this one, too. That would have been cool. But no mates on that one. Okay, then lastly, a couple. I've got a little tie tack that has a road runner. And then we have a nice necklace. It says extra special mom. That did turn out to be. 14 karat gold. Let me get it untangled for you so you can see it. You guys scoot back. So this, turn over you. This necklace and chain ended up being 14 karat gold. So extra special mom on the 14 karat gold chain. Yay. So very cool. Okay, is that part James Avery? I didn't see a James Avery. I don't think so. I'm looking back through it to double check. I'll double check them again, but I don't think I had any James Avery in there, or I didn't see any. Oh, this one. That one? No. It does kind of have that look, though, but no. No. Okay, let me switch back over. My throat's too dry. 
Man, I was trying to fly on that one. Okay, all right, so that's it. Those are, uh, that was the haul that I spent 75 bucks on the jewelry part, 80 for everything with what I got for the boys. Um, so I think I did okay. I think um, for sure I'll make my money back pretty easily. And yeah, so uh, let me know how you did this weekend if you found a lot of cool stuff. If you're watching later, um, yeah, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the haul. And again, uh, thanks you guys. Some of you are in the jewelry lovers and sellers. If you're interested, the link is down below and we are doing a lot of learning. So love to have you there. Okay guys, um, go over there, leave that thumbs up and I will talk to you later. Have a great, great day. Have a happy Father's Day to all our dads. Bye guys.